The beauty of Google Drive is that not only will it store your documents for you, but it also allows you to share your documents with other people. And you all can collaborate on those documents together. I'm going to show you how to share right now. In the top right hand corner, there's a blue box that says share. Right now there's a lock on it. That lock means that this document is private to me only. No one else can see it. And if I hover over the word, you can see private to only me. When you click on the box, you see there are two ways you can share this document with others. The first way is to click on Get Shareable Link. And now it gives you a link that you can email to people, put on your LMS page, your blog, your wiki, whatever you're using. And whenever anyone clicks on it, they have access to your document. Here, you decide what they can do with your document. There are th three options. They can edit, they can comment, they can view. Anyone with the link can edit. So to edit means they have full access to the document. They can add, they can delete, and they can invite other people in as well to edit the document. Can comment means they cannot add, delete, or change anything on the document, but they can add a comment on the side. Can view means they can only view the document. They cannot add any comments, nor they can, can they add, change, or delete any information. If you click on more, it gives you more options for link sharing. It means anyone on the web can find and access your document. Only people with the link or only specific people can see the document at all. Don't worry about this part. I'm just going to cancel out. Here you can either put can edit, comment, or view. I'll just write can edit. The second way is to enter email addresses for those people that you want to have access to your document. And here again, they can either edit, can comment, or can view. Once you're done, just select Done. Notice, next to the word Share, we no longer have a lock icon on there. Now it's a little person with links underneath. Anyone with the link. So anyone who has the link can access. No sign-in required. This is great, so you don't have to get all your students' email addresses and put them in, or your parents' email addresses and put them in. They don't need to have a Gmail account either. All they have to do is click on the link, and they can begin to write on your document. Back over here, there are two more options I want to show you. If you click on Advanced, at the bottom, it says Owner Settings. The first option is prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. Whenever you give anyone the right to edit, they can also change other people's access to the document and they can add other people or allow other people to, uh, to access your document. I would suggest always clicking this to make sure that only you have those rights as the owner of the document. The second one is totally up to you. Disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. So if you only have or give someone the right to view the document and you select this option, they can only view it on the screen. They can't download the document, they can't print it, or they can't copy it to their own Google Drive. Same thing for commenters. Um, again, that's totally up to you, whatever you decide. Once you have made your changes, Select Save Changes, Done, Finished.